Clay Matthews to the Titans. Does it make sense? Find out next on Titan Upload. So yesterday during the game, John Glennon tweets out that the Titans haven't had a sack in 11 straight quarters. Yes, that's right. 11 straight quarters. So what happens? Clay Matthews references an Animal House thing, and he basically trolls the Titans and says, hey, you know, I'm available if you need anyone for a sack. So let's dive into Clay Matthews. Would it make sense for the Tennessee Titans to take a look at Clay Matthews? And in the bottom line, in the grand scheme of things, would it help the Titans in this playoff push? Congratulations to the Tennessee Titans. Finally a season where they will not end 9-7. and seven. Let's just hope they make the playoffs, though. Two games left, still a lot of work to do. So let's dive into Clay Matthews. So on the surface, Clay Matthews, well, he can bring some help. He is definitely a guy, a six-time Pro Bowler. He's been a Super Bowl champion, and he's had many seasons where he's had double-digit sacks. Over the last five years, though, he's averaging roughly 6.1 sacks per season. So you kind of put him up to what the Titans have right now. Well, he'd fit in really nice this season. He'd lead the team in sacks at this point. Landry leads the Titans with 4.5, and Landry plays roughly 90-plus percent of the snaps but yet still only has four and a half sacks. Next closest would be Simmons with three sacks. So the Titans definitely could use the help. Now, what production could you get for Clay Matthews? That's another story. Last year, he did have eight sacks with the Rams. You put him in line with the Titans and where you put him at, I mean, this would be a guy that you could put as a vet. You could put him in key spots during the game, definitely third and longs. We saw what happened yesterday with the Lions. On a third and 13, third and 12, whatever the case, no problem. Throw to Jones Jr. First down lines, move the chains. Tennessee did improve in the game and eventually pulled away in the fourth quarter. But moving forward, yes, Matthews wouldn't help us against Green Bay this week, but this would be a playoff thing. The only other option I could think of is maybe bring back Correa if that works out, if he goes on waivers, and maybe try something with him. But again... Clay Matthews seems to be trolling the Titans, wanting to come play for the Titans. I'm sure there's some connections with LaJuan and Compton and all that. Plus, he does have a family history with Tennessee. His uncle, yes, his uncle, Bruce Matthews, is the longtime Titans legend offensive lineman. So I'm sure Amy Adams would feel comfortable bringing in Clay Matthews for just the playoff run. How much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take him to get into shape? Well, it'd be a perfect time. Win it, Titan fans. Dory Jackson got his first game in yesterday against the Lions. Played a little bit in the game. We're starting to see him come back a little bit here since he's been out since the AFC Championship game last year. So, hey, you put in Clay Matthews. You give him a little bit of time over the next week. And then you get him on the field against the Texans. Just play him a little bit. And then he's ready to go wild card weekend. Because, yes, with the new playoff format, the Tennessee Titans are not getting a bye, so they're going to have to play in the first round of the playoffs this year. And to be honest with you, that's okay. We'll take our chances. So comment below. Do you want Clay Matthews? Think the Titans should go somewhere else? Are you concerned? Pass rush is a major issue with the Tennessee Titans. The number one offense now in points scored just tied the Chiefs at 31.1 points per game. And the Tennessee offense with Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry Sounds like a co-MVP season to me, but can the defense hold up? There were times in that Lions game yesterday we weren't quite sure, but we did get one sack. Tier Tart, you're the man, even though it was a terrible snap and it was kind of a fumble by Stafford, but still, we'll take it for what it's worth. Titans come in 32nd in the league, averaging one sack per game. If you're going to take down Mahomes, if you're going to make a playoff push, you're going to have to do better than that. So does Clay Matthews solve that issue? Can't wait to hear from you. Till next time, take care and tighten up. Upload 
and you're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve. Tighten up.